Hi guys, we Bob here and in this video I'm going to talk about five differences between Photoshop and Sketchbook Pro. So I've been using Sketchbook Pro for a month or so now, really starting to enjoy it as I've, you've maybe seen in previous videos. If not, go check them out. In this video I'm going to talk about things that have annoyed me, things that are different. And this is my Chun-Li drawing. If you want to see the video of me drawing this, I'll leave a, a link at the end to that video. Straight off the bat you've got this layout. This is a default layout, it gives you a nice big screen to work with and you can move these about and I've talked about how these are easily moved around move them to where you want to be what I've been finding is I've been up here while I've been drawing going to window, layer editor, window, colour editor two clicks to find these different things and then I'm left with this tiny little bit to draw in it's not tiny but you get what I mean it's a lot less than the big screen I had before what I've found is these three icons here are the ones that make my life a lot easier I can get rid of the majority of the large dialog boxes giving myself again this big space to work with and I can get rid of this lagoon which I never use up until now anyway and I can just turn it off and give myself an even bigger area turn off the colour picker and as you can see I can literally draw across this whole surface it's great stuff that's the first tip is look at how you can set up the program to the way you want to draw find the shortcuts Tip number two, what I'm finding is an issue is with the colour picker and it's probably not going to work in example here but I'm saying I'm drawing and I've, I've used my colour picker shortcut key and I've done something else and, and I then decide to go to the colour editor and I choose a colour. Now what I've been finding is a, there's a short delay, sometimes there's a really long delay between me actually being able to choose a colour that I want and it seems to kind of hit or miss it may be to do with my computer, I don't know. But if you are finding that, the, the workaround I've found is by double tapping seems to either make my tablet more responsive. Like I says, it may be the Huion Canvas Pro. I haven't tried on anything else. But that is one of the things that's been annoying me recently. Is just Again, there's, there's an example. So I'm moving my cursor. You can't see that. You can maybe hear it. Eventually, the computer caught up with me and then work. But if I double tap, I immediately get that responsiveness. So it's certainly something that maybe it's an old computer issue it could be the screen issue one for you to watch out for one of the things i like is that these perspective rulers which i've talked about being able to draw a kind of skyscraper very easily a 3d object very easily but what i've been finding is when i try to draw a small line it doesn't work straight until you've went a certain distance I'm just going to bring the size up because my brush is too small but that took if I turn off the perspective it took me to draw that distance before my tablet registered it now it doesn't seem to be a problem with my tablet because my tablet draws normally it's not like it's doing this idea that I need to do a minimum line for everything it does seem to be a, an issue with the program and I haven't really found a workaround for that issue other than having to zoom in. So if I, if I do zoom in on that area, I could get a smaller line, but I am still having to go a minimum distance before that line appears. In this case, it's, it's that length there. And if I want to go even more detail, I then need to get even further to get that kind of refined detail, which is a bit of a pain. So that's another nuisance which I haven't quite found it's not proven to be a major major problem for me but it is more just of a, a nuisance number four text is pretty basic if I write the word red but there's not really much else to it that you can do and yeah, that's strike through you can underline but it's pretty basic stuff compared to Photoshop I mean if I go the last one is, is in Photoshop so I'll show you the difference between the text in Photoshop and the text in sketchbook pro the fifth issue i'm having is color correction so if i take you over to photoshop just now this is a photoshop drawing i did of a dragon and a girl i'll put a card at the end of the video for you to go and watch that if it's something that you're interested in but on this drawing i had used this thing called camera raw filter which is in photoshop and if you go to this camera raw filter here if i go up here and I go camera raw filter It gives me this dialog box which allows me to really mess around with the whole drawing, seeing what I can do with it, previewing what kind of differences that does to the drawing and it allows you to just kind of give a drawing those final touches. 
I might like that. Click OK and my drawing goes over to change. Sketchbook Pro has a version of this kind of colour correction. It just doesn't seem as intuitive. I did a video in different layers. Again, if you, I'll leave a link in the video description to that if you want to go and watch that one. But that's where Photoshop, the other thing like I was talking about number four would be the, the, the text. So let's turn on this text of Queen. I've wrote a simple text saying Queen. It, it's to do with a video. You might, if you want to know the answer to that, sort of go and watch the video. And if you're enjoying this video and I've got something useful out of it, please remember to like, subscribe and hit the wee bell notification. Leave me a comment if there's a particular thing that you want me to cover, whether it be drawing techniques or programs. But when you do a text layer in Photoshop, you can double click that layer and up will come layer style and I can do a bevel, which gives me a nice effect. Stroke is one of the ones I use the most, especially on thumbnails. You've given the text an outline, so you can add that in. You can do inner shadows, inner glow, color overlay, texture patterns, all sorts of crazy stuff that you can do with text and really sketchbook pro doesn't have that type of feature that's the five differences i've found so far five kind of different things whether it be specifically to sketchbook pro or the difference between photoshop and sketchbook things that it does better worse i really do like this ability to get my layout and get this massive screen that i can work on this it makes a massive difference to to the drawing process, being able to see the other aspects of the drawing while you're, you're drawing away. Thank you very much for watching. I'll leave a link to those videos. So if you want to go and see me drawing this Chun-Li drawing, there's a video up in the corner. If you want to see about layering and using different types of layers, go and watch the other video. If you want to watch the dragon video, it'll be on my channel. Thank you very much for watching and we Bob is out. Bye.